Hey guys, bringing you a do-it-yourself computer video today. I have a Toshiba laptop I'm working on, and I'm gonna show you how to get inside of this and swap out your hard drive and your RAM. Uh, they're very common components that people upgrade. They're also very common components that if they go wrong, uh, there's really no reason to send this in, into a shop for something like that. You can definitely do that yourself and save yourself a good amount of money. Uh, they, they're pretty accessible components. Uh, so to start with, if you have any questions or comments, if you see something that throws you, uh, in your own computer, check out the frequently asked questions below in the description. Uh, if you don't see your comment or your question there, leave me one and I'll get back to you a couple times a day at least. Uh, keep in mind if you're installing a new hard drive or solid state drive into your computer, you will need to put an operating system on that. Uh, below also there will be a link in how to install an operating system onto the hard drive um, once you install a, a new one. Uh, so to get started, I'm going to flip over my computer. Uh, depending on your exact model, yours may look a little uh, similar, it, it may have some differences. Uh, one major difference, you may have easy access panels for easy access doors here that you can unscrew that one panel and, and, and gain act access to your hard drive or, or your RAM. In my computer, I, I do not have that. So if, if your computer is like mine, you'll have to go through and take out all of your visible screws. Uh, watch out for your DVD drive. Once you slide that out, um, I have to release it with this screw. Once you slide that out, there may be some screws underneath. There also may be some screws under your battery. And some models even hide screws under the rubber feet. So if you want to be absolutely sure, look up a disassembly video on your specific model to see how to, how to get into yours. Uh, but I'm going to go through, open mine up, and then I'll show you what the hard drive and RAM look like and what we're dealing with on, on swapping them out. Okay, so now that I have my computer apart, let me zoom in here and show you the parts that we're gonna be looking at. So this is your hard drive and this is your RAM. Uh, starting with your hard drive, uh, most laptops, they're gonna take a 2.5 inch hard drive and they're gonna have a SATA connection, S-A-T-A. -A. I'll have that information below in the description. So as long as you find a SATA connection, and a 2.5 inch hard drive, uh, you should be able to get whatever size you want, 500 gigabytes, terabyte, whatever. Uh, same thing applies to solid state drive, same size, 2.5, and same connection, SATA, uh, SATA. So a hard drive will generally be held within a hard drive caddy. That's a metal or a plastic component that, that uh, attaches to the hard drive and cushions it or, or fits it very securely into the computer to stop it from moving around. In this model here, as you can see, it, it, it's a plastic caddy and it's not actually screwed in. So I can unplug my hard drive and take it right out. This is a plastic caddy that just squishes down in there really tight to hold it secure. Yours may be metal, you may have to unscrew it from its casing. Also, this plastic hard drive just fits onto the hard drive. Or I'm sorry, this plastic caddy just fits onto it. So I just pull it out like this, and the hard drive comes right out. Uh, again, yours, most likely your hard drive caddy will screw into these two holes there, and those two holes there. So they're all held in differently, but that's generally what you're looking at, is some sort of caddy that holds it in place. And again, this one right here, uh, you're looking at, I think this is a 500 gigabyte hard drive. Uh, again, you can get any size you want, as long as it's a 2.5 inch SATA connection, um, and if you want to double check that, uh, look at your computer specs and see exactly what size hard drive you need. So I'm going to go ahead and put my caddy back in, assuming this is my new one or my replacement. Put it back in there. You most likely would screw yours in, into place. And I put it in its place. I slide it in, in, into the port. I make sure that the long port and the short port is lined up. And then I do is just squish this back down again because I have this rubber or plastic caddy. Uh, you would most likely fit yours in place and then screw it down. Uh, but as far as the RAM, the RAM is up here. Very common uh, a presentation of RAM. Sometimes they'll be stacked on top of each other, but more commonly they'll be like this. They'll be side to side. Uh, they're held in by two little um, spring-loaded arms. If you pull these arms back or out away from the RAM, it will release the RAM and then you just slide it out like that. And then you, again, long port, short port, it's gotta be lined up 
and you put your new RAM stick in there, you make sure it's flush, and then you press down, and it snaps in. Uh, RAM, not all RAM will fit all computers. Uh, it, it's not like a hard drive. Um, if you want to know how to upgrade or how to choose the right RAM for your computer, there'll be a video link below in the description on how to choose the right RAM. Because uh, just because it physically fits does not mean that it will actually work in your computer. Uh, and keep in mind too that most computers, there's a max amount of RAM you can use. So you won't damage your computer by putting in too much RAM. Um, the excess RAM just won't be accessed. Uh, so you'll be wasting money, but nothing really more than that. But that's how you would access your hard drive and, and your RAM. Then you would go ahead and shut your computer back up. And again, if you need help in installing an operating system on that new hard drive, uh, check out the link below in the description. Uh, like and share if this was helpful. Leave me a comment if you need any help. And uh, please subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer repair. Thanks for watching, guys.